Week six of the Simulation Football League heads to the Bayou as the Louisiana Revolution look to turn their season around after a rough one and three start as they host the Houston Headhunters whose change of identity over the offseason has sparked a change of fortunes for the team from the Lone Star State as they are off to one of their best starts in recent memory. And again, I think we'll talk about it tonight. Houston's really going to lean on him tonight in Louisiana. They run from a four wide receiver set and Wells is going everybody. Why? He is one of the top running backs to the SFL. Is it going to be a 94 yard touchdown run? Yes, it is. Houston strikes first on a monster run by Wells. You know, as far as Houston was concerned tonight, we were thinking about GP Wells controlling the game on the ground, controlling the clock. And here we see how explosive he is. This is a huge play for Houston. He rips off this massive run all the way to the end zone for six. After the early back and forth of this game in Louisiana, Houston and G.P. Wells strike first on a huge play. Lean on Randy Squarebush. I think Louisiana has to know there, there's still plenty of a game to play here tonight. Utah down the numbers and completes. That's Chase Earl who marches into Houston territory down to the 43. Similar formation, two left, single right, tight end also to the left. Low snap, square boy, or excuse me, Utah corrals at the knees, fires over the middle, and in what looks to be about quintuple coverage, the catch is made by Lyric Da Vinci for a first down. Lineman, line woman, apologies. No, regardless, fantastic play up front on that D-line. Utah pitch and catch, beautiful to Lyric Da Vinci. The former Charleston Predator has two very impressive catches on this drive. And we've seen the confidence of Tommy Utah was not waned by going down 7-0. He's made some impressive plays on this drive. But that time it's just a simple pitch and catch over the middle to John Michael Suddeth. And we're an extra point away from being tied. Let's see if they can you know, make a special play here and get this yardage back, get this first down. Utah has plenty of time, and an excellent route run by Rego De Nero, excuse me, Rego De Nero. That's where, when you can lean on your halfback like this, it gives you, as a quarterback, confidence and energy. And they'll lean on him again, and he's got a fantastic block, and a touchdown saving tackle is made by the strong safety, Josh Rowe, but not before an 11-yard pickup, 12-yard pickup, excuse me, Put everyone in the box, try and stop this run game, and they can't do it, at least not on this drive. Utah floats it far side, and Houston was all set up to defend the run again. This time they go to the pass, and it's another touchdown for Louisiana. It's another touchdown for a tight end. Levi Leash gets in, and the rookie has a touchdown. 15 yards away from the end zone. Utah tipped to the air and intercepted at the five yard line. Look no out, chance. here goes Josh Rowe. He was put in the dirt on two consecutive plays by Squarebush, but he says, I'm gonna have the last laugh and take it 95 yards for the touchdown. Houston, are you kidding me? Two 90 plus yard touchdowns in the first half and they've tied the game. Row, row, row your boat. Gently down the field for six. <laughs> there we go. Josh Rowe, we just talked about it. He got blown up by Square Bush. Two plays in a row. The resiliency to come back, make the tackle for a loss, and then the heads up play. Running all these plays. Eventually, they're going to run away with this game. Unless Houston can keep this momentum going right now. That was a beauty. Uh, we got a great receiver core here. Four wide in Houston. Uh, great wide receivers, they, they want to air this ball out. Oh, and somehow, Mike St. Green comes up with the catch. It was almost blocked, but it is up and good from Jay, and dare I say it, that's probably the most well put together Houston drive in the ball game. The Headhunters take the lead. The next three plays. Yeah, well, we can analyze that, of course especially when this game is done tonight. But yeah, that's to have the ball down there so close to the goal line. Uh-oh, oh, uh-oh, fumble on the return. Uh, the ball slips out again. It looks like Houston has come up with it. Carl oh Law God. grabs it for the Headhunters. And how many times, Benji, has the ball been on the turf today? I think that's four fumbles in the ball game. Yeah, we see here the replay just 
a car crash there, really. Uh, Louisiana running this ball back. Two Houston headhunters make the play on the ball at the same time and just poke that ball out. They're trying to shake things up a little bit, keep Louisiana guessing after passing that first drive, focusing on the shorter game here. Here's a deep throw. Oh, out! DR Sim mosses a man and walks into the end zone. Yeah, you're down, but you don't. You're still not out of your rhythm yet. You don't have to deviate from your game game plan. Still, a lot, a lot of, a lot of game left to play here. Look out, square bush up the middle. Five step drop for Utah. Has a receiver out there on the corner route, and Lyric Da Vinci, who has been the best receiver, probably on either side. Oh, square bush falls forward first down and that's what Louisiana has relied on him to do all game long yeah big big down here two uh, split backs that might run two running backs wide they go up the middle and it's a touchdown well they they did exactly what they did to score their first touchdown at that time it was John Michael Suttoth this time it's Lyric Da Vinci First and 10 for Houston at their own 23. They're going to get a free play as the left tackle jumped off sides. And DR Sim makes a catch, leaves his defender in the dust, and streaks all the way down to the Louisiana 30 yard line. Here, third and three. What have they learned? Are they going to hand this ball off to GP Wells? They are not. It's a pass, but wide open at the five yard line is the receiver, Talon Steele. Throw it to the tight end and pick up a first down. That's a great play. It didn't result in a touchdown. That's a really unique play design. Well, strong side right. Bullies his way across the goal line. Put it on the board. Touchdown, Headhunters. Visit APMmusic.com. Burr. That's a costly interception go. as taking it away at the 15-yard line is Blake Craze. That Pats, we would be talking about the missed opportunities in these huge, big Houston plays. Here's a free play. Over the middle, touchdown! Reggio De Niro. Those obviously include the New Orleans Pharaohs, and oh, hook out. Barr gets the pass away. It's caught by DR Sim. Oh, and that's going to be a face mask on the end of the play as well, I do believe. These teams trade blows. This field goal only puts Houston up by six. Math is hard, but I can do that one, right? Louisiana yes, will get this ball back. But I think they just wanted to catch Houston napping, which they did. They're in business on the 45-yard line. Utah still plenty of time, and he is throwing darts at the bullseye. I think Tommy Utah's going to throw a dart here, but we've got Houston in this 3-2 zone. Utah looks for the end zone. Oh, he's going to be a yard short, and Louisiana calls a timeout with 34 seconds to go. Offset eye, pow, uh, strong side to the right. It's going to be a throw into the end zone, and wide open is Lyric Da Vinci. I mentioned he would play a massive part in any potential Louisiana win. He's got his second receiving touchdown of the game, and now you've got to flip the perspective to the Houston offense. They have lived on the big play all game to get down there into field goal range. Game not over. But it is going to come down to this. Where will they start? Oh, this is a fantastic oh. return. Look at him go. Greg Corky has one man to beat. He gets past the punt of the 40 to the 30. Will he go all the way? He's oh. got one man chasing him down, and he is dragged down at the oh one-yard line. No With way. With 14 seconds to go, Greg Corky the nine-season veteran takes it 90 yards all the way back. And he is one yard shy of what would have been a ridiculous kickoff return for a touchdown. Unreal. Yeah. Given that they have three timeouts already, but they're going to go for the field goal right here. Give them a two-point lead. It's good from 18 yards for Sonny J. That leaves Louisiana 12 seconds with two timeouts to get into field goal range to potentially win the ball game. Will we see something similar here?
Utah with time. He gets hit as he throws. The ball goes into the dirt, and the Houston Headhunters have survived a ridiculous game at Stack Up Stadium.